Hey, what's up? This is Chadness from Hell Yak, and you're watching Circle Pit. So get in that shit. We heard you guys might have some new music in the works. Is there anything you could tell us about that? Uh, we're gonna we're going right now. We're we're gonna finish this. We're going to um, Australia, New Zealand, Japan. We're doing three USO shows in Japan, which is awesome. Uh, Air Force, Army, Navy. Sorry, Marines. We didn't do it. Um, you know, but uh, we're gonna do those USO shows, and we're gonna come back. We're gonna take like literally two weeks off, and then we're gonna do, we're gonna start laying down music beds and 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 start starting in the studio. I think that you know when you know Hell Yeah started it was an experiment. You know, I was doing mudding and Hell Yeah, so um, you know they had to be very different. You know what I mean? And then uh, still the next the, the next record uh, Stampede. I was still doing mudding and and uh, hell yeah so it's like I really needed to keep them separate and then Band of Brothers you know started like setting the tone of where we're at or whatever and then uh, you know we feel like Blood for Blood was the record that really kind of was like you know having a camera and this slightly out of focus and just going gook and everything becomes sharp and clear and stuff like that I think we you know <clears throat> in order to be what you are I think you have to define it and I think it's taking us to blood for blood to really define what hell yeah means to us. Yeah. And Vinny's got a legacy that's forever, forever and a day long. Uh, he can still bring it like a motherfucker and he loves to bring it like a motherfucker. I love to scream and yell and sing and be helpless and be fucking aggressive and fuck you. You know what I mean? I, I still, have all those things inside of me that I think the true metal was uh, built on. You know, metal's always been that. Metal's always been that uh, music that runs the gamut of all human emotion. You know, and um, that's always been the way that I've done it. So um, I'm excited about. You know, I was a little nervy coming off Blood for Blood because I feel like that's. <clears throat> absolutely without a doubt our most complete A to Z body of work that Hell Yeah has done and in my in my top of what I've done even with my man, um I'm getting back to being me I'm writing like Chad Gray writes you know what I mean I'm not wearing a Hell Yeah hat and my man hat so I'm just being fucking me and Vinny's just being Vinny and Tom is just being Tom we brought Kyle and, and uh, Christian in, and we're excited to see what they bring to the table. But we're not going to fix what's what you know what isn't broken. We're going to start with Vinny and Tom laying down the music beds. <clears throat> I'll wrap my head around that. Start building uh, melody ideas, lyrical ideas. I don't know fucking tons of lyrics that just are just in a folder in my phone that I just literally. Get, I'm, I'm writing shit down probably five or six times a day. You know what I mean? So I have a ton of shit, you know, to start, but I need, you know, the music beds to start laying it down too, so, yeah, we're ready to go, hopefully by, uh, hopefully by the beginning of next year, we'll, we'll have a new record out, we'll see what happens from there. Uh, somebody threw an artificial leg on stage one time to get signed, prosthetic leg, and, uh, I signed it through the back, <laughs> so, that's, that's one, I mean, there's always, there's always that, you know, Fans are fans. Fan fan is short for fanatic. You know what I mean? And they're fucking fanatic. You know what I mean? It's like you have to embrace that. I, I embrace it. I think it's I think it's fucking awesome. And I don't I embrace it in the sense of that not in the wrong way, I embrace, I embrace it the right way. I think I embrace it in the sense that they are fanatic. And they're in fact they're fanatic about something I do and they're inspired. Uh, and motivated to buy tickets to shows to, to come see us play. That's an that's that's an inspiration. You know, when you're inspired to go buy a ticket, that's that's an inspired buy. You know what I mean? So it's like I I, I look. It's not an impulse buy. I look at I look at uh, our fans as family, and I look at them as as friends. I know that I need them as much as they need me, and I know that I wouldn't be here without them. And you know, I know that a lot of them look at. Um, my music they might not be here without me so 
when you look at it that way, man, it's like we're really, we're all helping each other and we're all in this together. I didn't ask to be born, you know what I mean? But I was, and I found a crew of people that's a metal community that I stand in front of every single day. And I try so hard to put out that we're having fucking fun. You know what I mean? That we are really fully and truly letting go. And I try to inspire that, I think, on stage to our friends and family that are out there or whatever, to just check your baggage at the door. You know what I mean? Your life's problems and stuff. Because they're all going to be there when you leave. Why not take this moment and embrace this vertical moment that is this show and just go the fuck off? You know what I mean? You're going to get to a point in your life you're going to look back on all the times that you were able to make as much noise as you wanted and nobody cared. That you are going to be able to get in a mosh pit, knock the shit out of somebody and have them knock the shit out of you. Um, and, and you're going to be able to, you know what I mean? If, if, you, if you, on your deathbed, looking back, you're going to find that those days were just peppered through your life. Like just here and there. Why not embrace them when you're in them? You know what I mean? When you have that opportunity to let, fully let go and let music do its thing. Fucking do it. Oh, absolutely. You could probably name anything that I've done it. I mean, seriously, I've worked in factories, all different sorts of factories. I, I built new home construction. I did concrete work. I did roofing. I did drywall on commercial level. You know, all those things on a commercial level. I mean, food service, you know, washing dishes, I mean, prep cook, um, all that kind of shit. I mean, I've done literally everything, you know. I, I didn't get signed until I was 29 years old or so. I mean, you know, all those fucking jobs you have in your youth or whatever in your, you know, your 20s and stuff like that, you know, remodels, you know, all, all, all that sort of stuff. Man. You know, I, I come from a long list of... Um, you know, blue collar jobs. And I think that that's kind of molded my personality. You know what I mean? Because I was kind of already set um, in my, what I, what I was as a human. You know what I mean? What I was as a human, my role as a human being, like before, before uh, uh, I got signed and, you know, saw success in music and stuff like that. And I hold that very, dear to my heart, you know what I mean? I know that it takes a lot of people to make the world go around, you know what I mean? I'm just a guy with a really cool job, you know what I mean? But I'm telling you what, you know, a rock star wouldn't be shit without a guy that could design uh, and build a house, you know what I mean? A, a guy that could design a car and a, and a team, a group of people to, put, to assemble that car. You know what I mean? Uh, truck drivers that get fucking food to grocery stores. I mean, there are many, many things that make the world go around. You know what I mean? And I'm not above anyone. You know what I mean? And I think that that's just part of my Midwest uh, blue collar kind of. That's 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 my heritage. That's, that's where I'm from. Uh, fuck. I just kind of hang out. <laughs> and I, like, I work. I work. A, I work a lot. You know when I'm not. Um, you know, I paint, um, I've, I've sort of attempt to play golf. Um, I, I went through a spell there where I like really got into it. You know, I'm telling you what, it's like, you can go with your friends and buy like some cheap ass bullshit, you know, $50, $75 golf clubs at whatever sporting goods store, you know what I mean? And just go and hit them and go to and get around the course. You know what I mean? And then you want to get better. And it's just like, next thing you know, you're at the driving range for three hours. It's it's like an onion. The more you peel it back, the more it fucking sinks, the more in depth. I mean, it like literally breaks down. Golf is like ridiculous. I mean, it's it's a, it's a life's work to, to master it. I mean, when Tiger Woods and Phil Mickelson, these are fucking uber pros, slice them into the woods. You know what I mean? Yeah. There's, there's a lot of room for error. But, uh, you know, I... I hang out with my girl and uh, just we just kind of chill out you know what I mean and do like you know do 
go on hikes and stuff like that. I'm not like nature boy or anything like that, but you know, I enjoy getting out. That's one of the things I always love about golf too. So I'm always cramped on a tour bus or you know strapped in the venue or like sitting in a restaurant doing an interview. You know what I mean? So it's like when I can be out in nature, I love, I love to be out. I love to be outside, even though I'm not a huge fan of the sun. And why the hell I chose Arizona to live? I have no idea. Because it's like sunny like 300 fucking 60 days a year. Like, Jeez. <laughs> two times, two times. I think two times I'm woken up when it was raining. I'm like, yes. So, yes. I love rainy days. I love storms. I'm from the Midwest, so I, I miss those days. Yeah. Like good old fucking fashion, just fucking throw down thunderstorms. You know? Oh, oh yeah. Maybe a tornado or two. Yeah, yeah. No, we got months in. I got months in. It's right now. If you were to set up a dream show, like you could tour with anyone. I know this might be tough, but I've toured a lot of great bands, man. I've toured a lot of great bands. I've toured Metallica. I've toured with some. Uh, I've toured with Lamb of God. I've toured with uh, Fuck Manson. I've toured with. I mean, I, there's not many bands that I haven't toured with, so this would be weird, you know. Uh, I've toured with Clutch, one of my favorite bands. Uh, fuck. Just any any man. Yeah, man. I mean, if anyone you would love dude, to tour. Dude, I mean, like, spectator point of view, I mean, like, fucking Zeppelin. I mean, I tour with Sabbath. You know what I mean? I mean, fuck. You know what I mean? Like, uh, on the Ausfest. Um, tour with Maiden on Ausfest. There's not a lot of bands that, like I said, I haven't toured with. This fucking fly is driving me crazy. Yeah. <laughs> I see. That must be its Lord. Lord of the Flies. <laughs> uh, that's, that's my pet. That's my pet, Bob. Uh, so I, I don't know, man. Just fuck it. Just pile all the greats in the bus and let's fucking roll. Awesome. You know what I mean? This is really you no. Know, there's a, not a lot of it. So it's, it's awesome to be able to say actually to say that I've toured with as many outstanding bands as I just mentioned. You know? Yeah, you're the first person who's made me feel like that question is obsolete. So let's <laughs> cross it off the list. Well, I'm Slayer right now. Oh, yeah. King Diamond. Yeah, it's like, dude, I'm literally on stage with my fucking teen years. Um, I played a little bit of guitar. I played a little bit of bass. I always wanted to be a singer. That was always my thing. I don't really play. I don't really play. I mean, I, I can I noodle around on guitars and stuff like that. I noodle around on bass. I can kick beats on drums and stuff like that. But ultimately, I'm a singer. The only thing I would... I didn't even really credit myself as a singer as much as a writer. I'm a writer, performer, singer. <laughs> you know what I mean? So, um, uh, singing is just kind of my thing. Craziest thing that's happened is just the fucking shows are just fucking awesome. You know, it, it's been it's been a lot. It's been a lot of fun for us. We were uh, we were in Detroit or whatever. This guy's like, oh man, you know, Indianapolis yesterday. I heard it was really bad. It was like four thousand people. I'm like. That's like 2,800 more people that have played to it in Indianapolis. So it's not a bad thing. We're embracing this. I mean, we're, we're fucking, we're, we're having an absolute blast with it. You know what I mean? And, uh, you know, Hell Yeah it seems to be a, a, a band that people want to see. We start playing and they kind of, they, they come rolling in and, you know, we, we're here to, here to entertain people. That's what we do.